Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get an amazing exotic and farm the crap out of it. That way you can max it out and make a ton of money in the process. So let's get, get into it, and the first thing you're going to need is... Well, the first thing you're absolutely going to need is all of the glyphs for your portal, okay? If you don't know how to do that, link up top and down below in the description, as well as... A portal. If you don't know how to get a portal or you don't know where to find a portal, I have videos for that. I don't want to make this video way long, so we're just going to go with that. And then I want to give credit where credit is due. I want to give credit to over on the uh, NMS Coordinates Exchange. You guys know I love using that. The NMS Coordinates Exchange. This post was by Nidhog71. So Nidhog71. Nidhog this is your find, so all credit goes to him. If you use this, go over, show him some love on Reddit, upvote his uh, post. And also, go over there if you want to see any cool stuff from the uh, Coordinates Exchange. They have tons of stuff over there. And now that we can upgrade our ships, you can get anything you want and just upgrade it. So you don't have to get a hauler or whatever. You can get an explorer, or in this case, an exotic. Because I love the exotics, and this is my favorite one. And so that is why I'm choosing it, but you can choose whichever one you want. I'm going with the exotic because they are they have the best stats in the game. And now we can max them out to the best uh, inventory in the game as well. So here are the coordinates. You're going to have to use a bird. Bird. The moon. Hot air balloon. The triforce. The whale. Where are you at? Nope, oh, right there. Whale. Hot air balloon. Dragonfly. Moon. Moon. Dinosaur. And then this weird face looking thing, okay? So get ready. Either take a screenshot or head over to the NMS coordinates exchange. There you go. And this will work on PC or console if you're on xbox if you're on ps4 or you're on pc the uh, ship locations are all the same so let's go get it perfect we were landed on ceph that's great so let's pop into our uh our spaceship the one that we're going to be using go up here and now you're gonna need some credits before you get up there okay so make sure to bring some money with you. Exotics usually don't cost that much, but you're gonna need a, a few million. I'm gonna guess 15. I would could say 15 million to start out with, but whatever you need to do, make sure you you know you bring some money with you. Because worst case scenario, you can buy another ship and scrap it and use the uh, scrapping glitch. Link up top and down below in the description, and make money that way until you can afford it. Oh, that's weird. What's going on here? There we go. Yeah, that was kind of weird. All right. So if you know anything about ship hunting, you know, once you get out, you're going to have to reload the save because it's a first wave. So let's do that now. And before I forget to tell you, reload your auto save, your auto save, because every time you get out of your spaceship, it creates an autosave, so get out of there, okay? Now, it should be a first waiver. The problem is, after the Beyond update, they've increased the wait time. So, it used to be 10 seconds. Now, you can be waiting up to 45 seconds for a ship to come in. But, don't worry. It should be in the first group that flies in. And here we go. Right here. Look at this baby. Yes. One of my favorite ones. My favorite, technically. I love these swordfish look up. So let's talk to him real fast. Hey. So we're gonna buy his ship. Let's see. And it's going to cost six million units. Okay, so it's cheaper than I thought. So all you need is six million. Now, we're not gonna exchange it. We're gonna buy a new one. If you don't have room, and remember, if you have six ships, you're maxed out, okay? So you max out at six. You cannot have more than that. So I don't. I have less than six because I've been scrapping my other ones. So let's buy this one for six million. 
So now this is ours. Now I'm going to do something really dumb. Because I know it's a first wave. And it might not be a first wave. It technically wasn't for me. But I've seen other people verify it's a first wave. So it could be luck of the draw. It was second, uh, second reload on my part. It wasn't the first wave on the first reload. But I reloaded again. After about four ships. If nothing has come in. Reload your save again after four. Okay? And then it'll just... It'll pop up eventually, I promise. But... We have... Oh, let's make an autosave, actually. Technically, for this one. To get in, get out. We have an autosave. Done. Now, what we're gonna do is... We're going to... To, uh... Scrap glitch this one. Because it's an S-Class. It's gonna give us a whole bunch of cool S-Class upgrades. So make sure you have any room. Okay, we have room. We have tons of room. So I'm just going to scrap this one as much as I can until I fill up my inventory. Because when you scrap a ship, remember, you get a whole bunch of stuff into your inventory. A whole bunch of recycled stuff. And so make sure you have room and just keep going until you're maxed out. And then you should be able to reload and you're good to go. We're going to find out in a second. So let's do it. Oh, okay, so four inventory slots required, so I'm not going to be able to get back in fast enough. So, yep, switched it out. But now we are maxed out on all this stuff. We have, look at that, 15, 30 slots right there. And then another 15 in here. Oh, my God, look at that. So 45 slots. We have for free, plus all our upgrades right here. Pulse engine, hyperdrive. So we are set to go. Now, we did kill it, so we need to reload and buy a new one. So before you reload, you have to make a save. Because if you reload now, it'll reload your save before you bought all the scrap. So you don't want to reload until you've saved. So let's pop into our old ship. Now we made a reload, or we made an auto save, so now we can reload. Oh, here we go. Here's my new ship right here. Let's talk to the owner. Hey. Make an offer on the ship. Now we're going to buy it again. Six million units. That's not much at all compared to other ships. Not much at all. So just make sure you have six million. And again, if you don't have enough, you can come here... Buy a cheaper ship, like buy this one that's only two million or whatever, and then do the scrapping glitch. Sell all the scrap that you get from it, and then you have enough money. So that's what you want to do. But for me, I have that one already. Oop! I need to go sell some scrap actually. So let's see. I haven't resold re anything. I haven't done any more glitches since my initial one. So let's see how much money I make. So. Oop. So right now I'm at 2.281 billion. So 2 billion 8, 281 million. Let's see how much I make. Just from that cheap uh, 6 million dollar ship. So 44 million right there. Done. I can sell a whole bunch of cadmium. So actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. Oop. Sell it for 8 million. I'm gonna I'm gonna lower this a little bit. I'm definitely gonna tank the economy for uh, cadmium. I want to keep some of it. That's why I'm lowering this a little bit. So boom, seven million right there. Fusion cores. I'm making four million off of that. Uh, spool of nano cables. Six million right there. I'm not selling my storage augmentations. I want to use those later on. I think that's it, right? Projectile, I mean, okay, I think that's it. So yeah, there you go. And so I just have my uh, my S-Class upgrades. Now, if you want to sell those, 
Let's go over here. If you want to make the nanites, because if you want to upgrade a ship, you're going to need nanites for that. Go to any of these vendors along the left side right here. Let's talk to him. Now, if we talk to him and we go to purchase upgrades, you can also over here on the top, you can go to sell. And so now you can sell, but they don't give you a choice on how many you sell. And so it'll sell all of your pulse engine or all of your hyperdrive modules. We don't want to do that yet because we want to use them on our... Uh, on our new ship, so we're gonna come back later. But you can sell them. And right now I would make 7, 7,500 nanites off of that, and another 7,200 off of my pulse engine. So that's what, 14, almost 15,000 nanites right there? Good to go, that's a lot. But we're not doing that yet. We need to upgrade our ship. So that's what we're going to do first. So if we wanna upgrade it, we go to the upgrade option. We can apply our augmentations, but I'm not going to do it yet. I want to purchase storage as much as you can first, and then use your augmentations when you don't have enough money, because this will go up to almost 300 million per storage part. So, and we could also, we could, so I think it's an S class. I don't think we can upgrade it. Yeah, you can't go past an S class. I wish, because I have the storage, or I have the nanites, but you can't. Once you get to an S, you can't get anything better than that. So let's purchase storage. So yeah, and then you know you don't get to choose which location. It just goes from top left to bottom right, okay? So let's purchase that one. Purchase that one. Yep, I know. It's going to give you these warnings until you're outside of this initial box, okay? It's a weird glitch. I hope they fix that. I know that they're probably going to because they're going to fix the uh, the glitch where you can keep scrapping the same ship over and over again. But until then, you have to just deal with the warning. It just says, hey, look, you know, your, your weird warning about exchanging ships. Transfer items to the new ship before completing the exchange. I don't know why we're getting that warning. There we go. And then we it, boot, it kicks us over to our technology area. But if you go back to your general... It'll still look like that. Don't worry, that's a weird glitch as well. But we're gonna re we're gonna do our technology while we're here. Boom, boom, and then boom. Thirteen million. Now it kicks us back over to our general. And let's see if I can get out. Let's see if I leave. Will it give me the warning again? Let's see. Go back into the menu. Boom, boom, boom. Upgrade my starship. It, now it's worth 28 million. Let's purchase storage for 15 million a piece. And it doesn't matter where you put it. It's 15 million whether it's in your general or your technology. So don't even worry about that. Oh man, it's still going to do that. Okay. That's okay. We'll just deal with the warning now. I don't know why that warning keeps popping up. It doesn't always. I don't know. You can comment down below. Tell me if it pops up for you all the time. Because I don't get it all the time. I get it sometimes, but not always. Alright, now we're getting really expensive here. So I will show you guys if you want to use your augmentations. Let's exit out. Go back in. Now let's upgrade Starship. Let's apply augmentation. Now I have 45 of them. So it'll say, okay, I have... It takes one... To upgrade this one so let's do it there we go boom oh I just all of a sudden got two extra ones over here okay I don't know why that is but okay I'll take it it's kind of glitchy right now I have a feeling that we're gonna get some some patches to fix this I just got two free uh, upgrades slots right there that's okay and boom but now I'm like, okay, I ran out of augmentations. I don't have any more. Let's pretend. I don't have any more. So we have to go back. Let's buy some more. We can look at my uh, ship. is worth 121 million units if I were to scrap it right now. That's insane. But let's upgrade the starship. And I don't have any uh, augmentations, so I have to buy more. Look at that. 90 million storage right there. And I cannot go into my uh, my general because my general has been maxed. You can only go to 48 slots in your general. So now we're doing our technology. 90 million. 
Yep. 95. 100. Oh my god. 120. See how it just keeps going bigger and bigger? 140. Yeah, it costs a lot. And thankfully on your technology, you only can go up to 21. So it doesn't you get to a point where you just can't buy anymore. Thank god. Because look at this. 200. 220. 250. 300. Oh, I don't have any more money. I only have 200 units left. Or 200 million units. So we have to use our the rest of our... Um, our augmentations, well, not the rest, but we have to start using augmentations again. So let's apply augmentation. Oh, there's one. And two. There we go. We are totally maxed out on our starship now. So look at that. Boom. And this is an exotic. I love the fact that an exotic has, <laughs> you know, 48 and 21. But now we have all our, um... All our upgrades we need to put in. Whoop, I keep hitting the wrong button. Hyperdrive module. Let's pop that the baby in there. Oh, man. I didn't plan this out. Okay, let me put that down for a second. I'm going to put my pulse engine over there. Let's move this one out of the way. And shields out of the way. I'm just going to pop these ones over to the side for now. This is not the final spot. But I want to make it to where I get everything pretty close to where it should be. Hyperdrive. Boom. And don't forget, you can also put hyperdrives into your uh, your technology as well. So I put three in here. I could put another three in here. Hyperdrive. So go over. Boom. Hyperdrive. Now, boom. We have three and three. Now, if you try to go four, it's going to overload your system. So you can only have three of the upgrades that you buy, the modules that you buy. So if I pop it here, nope, it's over overloaded. I'll pop it in here, overloaded, so it's done. Can't use it. So it gives us wire in loom, okay, I'll take that. And, okay, I'll take that, and I'll take that. So that's the most you can do for your, uh, any technology, you can only do Three in each. Three general and three technology module or technology inventory. Pop this in there. Oh, can't do that anymore, so let's pop it there. Pulse engine. Hyperdrive, can't do that one. Pulse engine, boom. So yeah, three and three, boom, boom, boom. And look at that, my hyperdrive range now is 22. 2,200 light years. My maneuverability is insane. I, don't even, I haven't even done my shield. My shield was already pretty high. Look at, the white is the base stat. The yellow is what your upgrades have given you. Look at that, that's insane. My shield is gonna be off the charts and so is my damage once I start putting actual damage modules on. So we have a hyperdrive here. Hyperdrive there. Actually, let's see. How many augments do we have? We have another 15 in here. So, boom. That's 30. So, we have 32 augments left. And we're maxed out. That's craziness. And we have all these upgrades. So, we have a pulse. Pulse. I think They give you the same two over and over again. So, I just have my pulse and my hyperdrive upgrades. And so, I can't use any more of those. Might as well sell them. To this guy right here. It doesn't matter which vendor you go to. You can go to any of these vendors as long as they're on this side. They have to have upgrade modules. Because they're the only ones who will buy or sell them. So let's sell that. Boom. Four and four. I just made 8,000 nanites right there. Boom. Now let's see what this guy has as far as starship upgrades. So I'm going to buy a whole bunch if I can. I don't want any C's. I want an S. So positron ejector. Oh, I'm going to use that because that's, that's my favorite one. But yeah, see how they only have A's, B's, and a little bit like one S? Yeah, see, so that's okay. But we bought his one. That's fine. We're going to install this baby over here. 
It doesn't matter where you put it because you can always move it later on. Like if I say, oh, there's a gap here, I should have moved that stuff. Let's pick it up and move it. Boom. That way it's all squared off and good to go. That way you can maximize the usage of your space. So don't worry about putting it permanently there. You can always move it later on. So hopefully you guys like the video and hopefully you guys are getting the exotics. Exotics are the, the ships with the best stats. And the reason they have the best stats is because before they had really small inventories. And so they had the best stats in the game. You just couldn't put a lot of upgrades in there. Not anymore. Now you can put all the upgrades you want. And there's so much room in this. Look at this thing. It's massive. So, oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to max out this ship. So hopefully you guys like it. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time. And I'll see you guys next time.